Hi, this is David Fine. Welcome to Keys Moths. This is a Wacky Worms video. This is a Wacky Worm got a great hairstylist. <laughs> it's the, the Little Metal Mark, Califellus virginiensis. Check this one out. Uh, if you're a hairdresser, you're going to want to get a few tips from this caterpillar. Check it out. The Little Metal Mark has become one of my favorite South Florida butterflies. Not that easy to find populations of them, but when you do, they can be really abundant uh, in the swampy areas where their plant grows, host plant grows. So, uh, small butterfly, one of our smallest butterflies actually, it's a wingspan of a half an inch or less. Really cool, rusty red, reddish orange color uh, wings on the dorsal and ventral sides. But where it gets its name, the metal mark, is it's got these bluish gray uh, metallic flecks on the forewings and hindwing on both sides. And that's where they get their name from. And on a fresh specimen, if you get the, uh, this butterfly photographed in, with good lighting in, as a fresh specimen, you're gonna be blown away how beautiful this bug really is. The range of this butterfly is basically the southeast of the United States in swampy areas where thistles grow. Thistles are the larval host plant and they stay very close in close relationship to their host plant. You're not going to find them if you don't see a lot of uh, bull thistles. Uh, they were reported from Big Pine Key in 1971, uh, but they haven't been seen in the Florida Keys since. But South Florida in the swampy areas, Florida Everglades, can be an abundant butterfly in the right place in the right time of year. The larvae of the little metal mark feed on Circium or thistle species that grow in the swamps. There's a variety of different thistles that they will eat. The eggs are actually flat in their shape and that are, are red. And they're actually strategically laid on the edges of the leaves where, because the edges of the leaves are actually red and strategically placed because they camouflage beautifully with the red edges of the leaves. They blend in, blend right in and these eggs are tiny, smaller than a pinhead. Very, very, very tiny uh, egg. The caterpillars of this butterfly, they've got some crazy hairstyle going on. Man. They're whitish green in coloration, but they've got three rows of this big long hairs that, that stick off right down the mid, middle dorsal area and then uh, one on each side and they are super cool but these hairs actually help them camouflage in their environment because the leaves of the thistle plants are very hairy looking they've got these white hair like um, uh, filaments on the leaves and actually helps the larva blend in beautiful beautiful camouflage uh, on this species, they blend right into their environment. The caterpillar then will pupate right on the leaf of the plant and the pupa itself is a light green coloration and it has all these hairs covering it as well. Blends, again, right into its environment, very well camouflaged pupa. The chrysalis emerge within a week and a half or so and the butterflies can be found very low to the ground in these grassy, swampy areas where the thistles grow. They love visiting a variety of different types of flowers, uh, predominantly in the aster family. Uh, we find them on Bidens a lot. It's a great nectar source for this butterfly in its natural environment. Our experience with this species is predominantly in Everglades National Park, Big Cypress, and then in Fakahatchee Strand down in Collier County, Florida, where they grow uh, in the swamps, the thistles grow in the swamps. They can be locally abundant. In fact, you can walk through some of these little grassy areas and find hundreds of them at the right times of the year. But man, they're tough to follow because they are very well camouflaged in their uh, brownish environment. So brown grasses, brown butterfly, they disappear very quickly and they fly very strategically in and through these grasses. Tough to follow. They can be also tough to photograph too because they don't sit still very long unless they're nectaring on a flower. So guys, that's about all the time we have for today. Hope you've enjoyed this Wacky Worms video on the Little Metal Mark. Got plenty more Wacky Worms where this one came from. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That really helps out our channel. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications. When you do, you'll get notified when we put out videos like this. Um, guys. 
South Florida's got some wacky worms. This was one. Hope to see you out in the field someday. Until next time, enjoy South Florida.